just ready, ready, getting ready to go hay in and there's a picture of Summer Linda. Just finished getting the blade off of Summer Linda. There's the kids are detailing the one tractor over here. Got uh, one hooked up. And uh, uh, view, nice blue sky today. Um, I got uh, got talked to about not doing any vidgen and I really haven't been. So the old knee injury kind of ended the video and for me for a while we rode the coach and finally back walking again and trying to get stuff done there's the bale wrapper gonna get that ready to go hopefully we don't need it but one of them things if we do you want it ready and uh yeah spent the weekend fixing dirt bikes and rhinos and i don't know if the wife got a video or not but we ripped the run front wheel off the rhino so uh did some ball joints that was a good time and uh yeah so she's all ready for you now mrs b she is now summer officially summer linda so uh yeah take her over and and do what you do there's the blade there's the kids in the distance you can see the moco all hooked up ready to go that one's ready to go kids are gonna armor all the cab for me a bit which good kids and uh yeah let me back out so I can uh, not look like I'm drunk. I'm walking here. So hi to YouTube. Where's Peyton? Where's Peyton? Okay, so I forgot the GoPro. So, sorry. <laughs> For the lack of videos. Um, I was playing Auntie the last few days and uh, motocross mom and all kinds of things so the videos have been slacking but here we go this is field number two that we are bailing um, where we did our oats last year and we, I just finished rolling it up and I didn't take any videos I oh, know right so bad anyways so here we go we're on to bale number three of this property I just tested the first two they're running at eight percent moisture which is really low uh, so, yeah, a bailing we will go, a bailing we will go. Uh, I'm gonna, um, the rake will be out here shortly. Yeah. And I'll continue raking and hopefully it, the stuff that isn't raked is still dry enough to bail tonight. So we'll see how far I get uh, with that. And yeah, uh, so far our first crop has come up a little bit shorter than years past just because it is first year grass because we seeded that last year. Uh, under seeded it with those oats, and uh, but it grew. It didn't die. It's been hot and lack of rain around here, so we are just gonna keep bailing and see what we get over here. This one wasn't too bad. Um, it, it is a bit, little bit lighter than years past but it's not as late as some of the fields that we are going to be doing so it is what it is oh there's my monitor and my bale is just about full um so that's my cue to let you go because i need two hands to do this job um and tomorrow when i come out bailing again i will remember the gopro another raking and bailing day so bruce is moving the rake for me over to the new property and i am driving the farm truck so don't let him tell you I broke it but confession I don't like driving that thing and while well, this is the next thing up but I've never drove this on the highway I know right I've drove it around the farm and back and forth from like the barn and stuff but I've never actually took this truck cruising kind of sad but we're so moving this tractor <laughs> Uh, the rake over to another field so I can rake it and then when I'm done raking I walk it home from my truck and go up to where the baler is where we finish baling and go get the baler and then walk the baler over to where I just finished raking and bale that tonight and then Bruce is going to go cut another one down and hopefully we can get it all rolled up before the rain comes this weekend <sighs> but we'll give her a whirl anyways so off to raking okay so uh Moving this tractor down the highway might not be my favorite thing in hanging season, but raking is something I really enjoy. And I really didn't get to do a lot of it last year because we had help. 
and I really haven't got to do any yet this year. This is my first field, and I'm having a blast. It's, I don't know why. I really enjoy raking, um, and I don't mind running this old girl in a field. It's just the road here kind of scares me. But I guess if you know highway people don't mind me going slow, it doesn't matter. So, anyways, I'm just out here raking, having a blast. It's my truly, it's my favorite job. I love it. Walking the baler up to where I was raking. I got shut down on the rake because we have friends, have family coming to help. So I get a bail. <laughs> oh well. Um, I got that field half raked and then my new son came and got me and we came and picked up to go get the baler because it was still over at the other field that we bailed the other night. Um, so here I am walking up the highway. I do do it, I just don't like it horse is when like a big truck goes by you and it's like whoo um, little cars aren't so bad but it's the big trucks that get me every time anyways <laughs> just about at the field and then i will put it in field gear not road gear and we'll make some bales we'll see how well that field is producing i don't know i think it's about the same as everything else everything's a little short this year well everybody wants sunshine and we got it and it yeah Anyway, they're going for rain next week. Looks like we're going to have some good rain coming up. So we're going to get, uh, we're just cutting one more property down today and we'll get, I think he's going to cut ours down too, but we might just silage it just so we have that much done. And we'll get that all rolled up before the rain. And then we'll have a farming break. And maybe I'll get some YouTube videos up, but I apologize. There's a lot going on in our world. Um, and then this weekend, even in the, well, they're calling for rain Friday and Saturday. Um, we got to head up to Fort Nelson and my son's got his first motocross race. So we'll get some clips of that and share some of that. Um, yeah. We're still going. Moving on up the highway. There goes Bruce. He just shut me down because he broke the cutter. So he's going to finish bailing this. And I'm going to go home and play with my bees, I guess. I got some honey that I need to extract. Um, so I might get that ready and then he can come help me when I'm done. But uh, yeah, so this is what we've got so far. That's what I bailed so far. And of course he comes and gets me with this. So I get to go home with the farm truck. So yeah, there's the back way or there's the highway. What should we do? So, I don't know. I felt like not turning the truck around. We're facing the highway, so let's take the highway. He bails faster than I do. Um, I bail B2 unless it's rough. I go to B1 and he's usually a B3. So that's all good. It's all good. I need to bring that thing home and we need to leaf blower it and clean out the rad and the baler. There's a lot of chaff in there. Here we go. We're heading to the highway. We're heading home. I get Linda today. I get Linda today. <laughs> uh, so they're going for a lot of rain on Friday. Today is Wednesday. Uh, so we shut the cutter down. Uh, and we're hoping we get her rolled up before Thursday when it starts to roll in. If not, I guess we're wrapping. Uh, so I get Linda today and I'm right here and Bruce is out on the baler. Um, so I have this little property here to rake up and then I gotta walk about home and rake some more over that way. Uh, and I forgot to record because I was paying attention. The highway was quite busy. But the highway, uh, oh, my pipe is in the way. I need a straight pipe. We haven't got that far. We talked about that last summer. Anyways, <laughs> the exhaust pipes in the way. The highway that's up there, it goes all the way down here. I walked home, and we live at the top of that hill. So I walked Linda all the way here, all by myself. Even put fuel in it at home and had to back it up from the fuel tank. Be proud of me, be proud of me. <laughs> Come on. Um, anyways, so here I am, just out raking and having some fun. And I keep forgetting the damn GoPro. I'm gonna have to put like a sticky note on my forehead to remember the GoPro. 
I'm too far from home to call the kids to bring me it, so I will um, try and get it when I go back to the other field by the house and get the kids thrown it out to me. If not, I guess it's just some um, cell phone clips. So just some proof it's me, see if I can drive in a straight line. Um, and my fancy new girl in a curl hat, can you see it? I'm super proud of it, I love it. Um, and if you check out my Facebook page and um, Instagram, that's where it is. I have our fresheners too. I'm super, I love it. I didn't, I forgot it at home. I was going to stick one in Linda. And I forgot it on the table. So we get the old green tree today. But yeah, so I got my girl in her cow's hat patch. And I'm just out raking. So, check it in a bit. She asked about Don raking this field. I got a few more swaths just to get back to where I started. And Bruce is just on the second round of opening. He got stuck with having to change the net wrap. So, uh, looks like he's got her covered. He knows what he's doing. I got a few more wraps, a few more rows here to do, and then I'm uh, headed to another pasture to rake up. Okay, here's the proof. I'm going home. Linda and I were cruising the highway. High speed. <laughs> oh, yes. Great fun, great fun. So, if you're cruising down the Alaska Highway and you pass a little yellow tractor, it's me. <laughs> Anyways, I'm headed home. Not really, I'm heading to a different field to rake that too. So, Bruce is going to finish bailing that one. It was kind of fun to have him in the field with me. We're never in the same field. He's always cutting. And I'm bailing. And I get the help. <laughs> but today, because the cutter shut down, I get to break. And we got to hang out in the field together. So, once I get home, I'll text the kids. They can come out in the rhino and visit and bring water and food or whatever they feel like. Um, this one's just too far. Uh, nobody around here drives the ditches with uh, like ATVs, so the kids can't get to us. Um, so, but the one I'm, the, where I'm headed next is next door. I hate when big trucks go around me. It's a divided highway, four lanes, just up here, so it'll get better. Um, so they can come. It's next door to the farm, so they can come and visit or just watch mom rake, whichever. Anyways, proof that I'm driving the highway. It feels like I'm being chased. <laughs> Chris has made it over here. He's done the opening rounds. I'm maybe four swaths ahead of him, but he goes a little faster than the old break. He might have to have a coffee break. <laughs> uh, it feels a little light so far. So when I rake, I rake every other. So like this one's unraked and that's raked. So I get to the end, I'll skip two and I'll go down. And then when I get to the bush, I'll do go all the way back with what I skipped. And then he's kind of bailing in between. So we'll see what we get over here. Roll reversal. She's hiding. Supper time. And the kids brought the rhino and a dirt bike with dinner chicken and fries and a salad. Not too shabby when you've been on the tractor all day. I have kids that bring field food. Mm. So I got a little raking and I'm done tonight. He's got a little bailey and he just about caught me. He's got one swath here and then a little mess at the entry gate where I got a rake and slingshot engage. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> that's this field and the end of today. Not very many times a baler can catch a catch a raker. Oh only one Bruce's Bailey. <laughs> Huh? <laughs>